Welcome to our content curation video. My curator's powerful and flexible curation tools allow you to go from a few articles a day in your niche topic up to professionally curating multiple sites with multiple topics and writers. Let's go to the training page using this link. I like to bookmark it for easy access. Once here, remember, you can filter by topic and classification using the keys at the top. And there's a field in the option formats table to set how many articles show up on a page. As I browse through, I can review article by clicking on its title and up pops a quick look at the readable page. Or I can click on a link to the original page which opens a new tab. I'm going to curate this article from my training page. I'm just going to hit make live and it changes the article into a draft post removes it from my training page and opens a new tab for the regular post editor. In the editor, I have the original snippet saved by my curator, in my case an inserted image, and the attribution link. Down below is the text extracted from the original web page for me to review, including any images that could be grabbed. You'll notice that as I scroll through, each paragraph or other element is automatically highlighted. I can just click it to copy into my post. For this post, I'm going to use a different paragraph as my second quote. Let me highlight the paragraph to replace. I just find the new quote, I think I'll use this one here with the bolding in it, and just click it and it replaces my old quote. I'm also going to add a second picture to the post. I just click on the image I want and a dialog box lets me, lets me format it for the post. I'll use a thumbnail that's right justified. I could also change the post title and uh, alt tags. If I click Featured, it'll become the Featured image. I'm just going to press Insert and it's done. I also have access to the media, SEO, and any special plugin and theme options that I've installed for my site. I've got the full power of my WordPress environment for my curated posts that I have for a post that I created from scratch. Scrolling back up, you can see the new quote and the image. Now I'll just type in some introductory comments and I can update it, draft, or post it. Let's close this out and go back to the training page. This time I find another post I want to curate and use my quick tag to do a quick post. This bypasses the editor and lets me change the excerpt and add in a paragraph of my own comments. If I'm posting this to my drafts, I may just make a note to myself or a colleague about my ideas on curating this post. If I'm going to publish it, I can enter in a quick paragraph and get it live right now. Finally, let's choose my video topic. You can see the video is inserted as the excerpt. Usually there's very little text to go along with it, especially on YouTube. After checking it out, I could edit it or use my quick post to put in a note and send to drafts or publish it now. For higher volume curation, you can also turn off the step of going through the editor when you click Make Live. From the Curation tab, we clear this option. You can read about all of these options in the documentation page on our site, giving you an ability to customize my curator to your processes and formats. We can also do curation from the training post menu item in the admin dashboard. We have the same information here as our training page and the same tags. Since we turned off the edit when made live option, we also have a new tag, make draft. With the edit option off, I can move through a lot of items very fast. I can click on make live and the post goes right to my blog. If I click make draft, it goes right to my drafts. I can trash it if it's not what I want. I can also use the quick tag if I want to add some notes or comments. You can choose whether you like the blog format of the training page or the table format of the training post admin. For even more volume, I can use the bulk tools. Just click on one or more items that you want to perform the same operation on, such as send to draft. Then click the bulk actions and choose make draft. All of your selections are made into draft posts at once. You can see there are options for all of the tags except quick. Another thing I can do with the bulk options is to select my bad posts for a topic and then move them all to the trash at once. 
With this higher volume curation, I can use other plugins to manage my workflow. I've been sending posts to draft, with or without comments. I can use the Editorial Calendar plugin to schedule out these curated posts. Just drag and drop them onto the schedule, then edit them and curate them as their post date approaches. There are also plugins such as EditFlow and others that let you manage posts through multiple statuses, not just draft and publish, as well as manage a group of writers and contributors. My curator, with its content discovery engine and powerful curation options, can become the source for a large professional curation process across many topics, writers, and sites. Thank you.